안녕하세요. 기라쌤입니다. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about Hangul, the Korean writing system. Now, rather than going over each character individually, I want to give you some general information about Hangul, as well as go over its structure. If you're looking to learn each individual character, I would recommend just doing a quick Google image search for Hangul or Korean alphabet, and then you can see all of the characters right there. So first off, a lot of people, when they see Korean writing, they think, oh, it looks so complicated, and um, they're kind of intimidated by it. And I think the reason why a lot of people think that is because they assume that it's similar to Chinese characters, where each character has a specific meaning in itself. However, Korean Hangul is more similar to the English alphabets, where each character has a specific sound. Now, the reason why it looks a little bit more jumbled up together and more complex than English is because each block of characters is actually about one syllable. Now, as for the characters themselves, there are 10 vowels and 14 consonants. There are some other characters, but they all stem from this base 24 characters. Now, as I mentioned, Hangul is written by blocks or it's chunked together in blocks and each block follows the order of consonant, vowel, and possibly in some cases another consonant. Now I think this is the most complicated part of learning Hangul and that is depending on which vowel it is, it will either go to the right of the first consonant or it will go below it. So I'm going to be giving you some examples now. But if you haven't studied the Korean characters themselves, I would recommend doing that first and then coming back to this video so that you can follow along easier. All right, so these vowels would go to the right of the first consonant, whereas these vowels will go underneath the first consonant. Some examples of the ones that would go to the right would be words like na or no, and some that would go below would be words like mo or mu. Then lastly, the third consonant that I was talking about, that's called the bachin, bachin. Now, not all words have a bachin, but if it does, it's another consonant that goes underneath the vowel and consonant. Some words with bachin are gom or nin. Now, quick side note. The character that makes the K and G sound, that actually, depending on which vowel is following it, will either look like this or like this. Another side note, some words will actually have two consonants in the bachin, so just look up for that. Alright, so let's practice writing some words. We have words like kimchi, or bulgogi, or tteokbokki. All food. Okay, so let's start with kimchi. So as I mentioned, you'll start with the consonant, then you'll follow it with the e vowel, and because it's e, it'll go to the right of the k or g sound. And then lastly, you'll have the m sound for the bachin that goes underneath it like this. Then you'll move on to the next block, which will be chi. So it's first that ch sound, followed by the e vowel, and you're done. That's kimchi. Now with bulgogi, same thing, yeah? So you'll start with the b or p sound, follow that with the u, and then lastly you'll add the l or r sound in the bakchin. Then you'll move on to the next syllable, go. So then you'll write the g or k sound, and then you'll follow that with the o sound. The last syllable in that word would be the ki sound. So again, you'd write the k or g sound, and then you follow that with the e vowel, and then you have the word bulgogi. Okay? And then lastly, tteokbokki. Okay? So you'll start with the d sound, the double d sound, then you'll follow it with the vowel sound for o, and then lastly in the bachin, you'll put the k or g sound. 
E. Next you'll have book. Okay, so you'll have the B or P sound, follow that with the O, and then lastly the double G or double K sound. And then you move on to the very last syllable of the word, E. So you'll start with the circle, which doesn't have a sound when it's the, used in the first consonant place, and then you'll follow it with the E vowel, and then you're done. That's the pokey. So if you need other tips and strategies on how to practice your Korean reading and writing, then I'll make a video on that shortly so you can watch that as well. But I hope this helped in kind of understanding a little bit about how the Hangul is written. Thank you for watching. 들어주셔서 감사합니다.